we're going to use ChatGTP to create a mid-journey prompt to get the exact image style that we want. You might recall this prompt we're using today from a separate video where we use ChatGTP to create ChatGTP prompts to get exactly what we want. This prompt formula I'm going to show you right now can be used for pretty much creating any kind of prompt you want, and it's super slick. I'm going to paste it in right here. I got inspiration from this all over the internet, just patch things together. Basically, it says you're a professional prompt engineer. Your number one job is to help me craft the best possible prompt to get the results I want from ChatGTP. Here's the process. First, ask me what the prompt will be about. My answer will be pretty basic, so we need to improve it by iterating through the next steps. There's three sections. Iterated prompt, which is the prompt that it's going to create every time we go through the steps. Suggestions are ways ChatGTP thinks we can improve the prompt. And questions are things ChatGTP asks us to incorporate, to get more information to incorporate into the prompt that it creates every time. I'm going to hit enter. You can get this prompt from my website. Just click the link down below to take you to a page on the site. You can just copy and paste it. No opt-ins, no nothing, just copy and paste and you can be off to the races. So I want to create a mid-journey prompt and it's going to be about a dragon reading a book. So I'm going to just talk to ChatGTP like I talk to anybody else. I want to create a mid-journey prompt for a dragon reading a book. Hit enter. I'm sure that prompt to get pretty good results in mid-journey, but they might not be exactly what I'm looking for. So ChatGTP is going to help us narrow down what we want. So questions, what genre or type of book is the dragon reading? We can just enter number one, and I'm going to say War and Peace. Seems like a dragonly book. Where is the dragon currently on its journey? Can you provide some details about the surroundings? Um, it's kind of a weird phrasing. Where is it on its journey? Um, let's see. In a cozy corner of a dark cave. How does the dragon feel while reading the book? Deep contemplation. These are suggestions that ChatGTP thinks are going to improve the context of our mid-journey prompt, and they relate to the questions down below. So the first one, specify the type of book the dragon is reading, and it goes into more details about what that means. And then the question down here is, what type of book is it reading? Second part, consider the details about the dragon's surroundings. Is it flying? Obviously, it's not flying. It's reading a book. Um, but these suggestions, I found, quite often relate to the questions, and quite often the suggestions can be pretty wordy. So... That's why I labeled in the original prompt that they are optional, the suggestions. So you can just delete this, change this C to a B, and just have iterated prompt in questions. That works just fine too. Let's hit enter and see how our prompt improves. In this case, it's saying write a scene. We want it to draw a scene. Then we have some more questions to answer. Number one, is there a specific reason for the dragon's deep contemplation? Something it read in the book. Two, can you provide more details about the atmosphere? Soft torchlight flickering throughout the cave. How would you describe the dragon's physical appearance? Majestic. Enter. Now you can keep going and going and going. I'm just going to copy this one right here and use that for the mid-journey prompt. And I'm going to say to ChatGTP, all done. Thanks for your help. That's not a necessary step, but I like to do it. Now heading over to mid-journey, type in imagine prompt. I'm going to say depict a majestic dragon deep in contemplation, and then it's just the rest of the, the prompt. Paste it right in there and hit enter. I've had this prompt into mid-journey two times. This is the first result. All pretty cool looking dragons. In this one here, it has someone reading the book or dragons reading the book to them. Can't really tell. That's pretty interesting, having someone reading the book or someone with the dragon. And the second time I did this, it has a person in every single picture reading the book. So it depends on what you're going for. And you can obviously iterate on this prompt inside mid-journey. You can add the aspect ratio to take more control of the image. Maybe add some chaos to be more varied in the styles of what it creates. And then I gotta imagine that. Prompt, boom, see what this creates. And I think this one created the coolest image or the most close image to what I wanted yet, which is this one right here, where it's the dragon. Looks like he's studying that book. The other ones. This looks like an angry dragon yelling. But this one right here, that's exactly what I was going for when I first started creating the prompt. So the process is use this ChatGTP prompt, the one prompt that rules all others, and then use your mid-journey skills to use the prompt that you created and add some more control with various parameters to get the image that you ultimately want. If you want more mid-journey prompt hacks and things like that, check out this playlist right here. Or if you want more ChatGTP hacks, check out the playlist down below. My name is Bjorn from the AI Underground. Make sure you subscribe and ring the bell so you don't miss any future videos. Till next time, keep crushing it, and I will see you in the next video.